In this video, we'll be taking a look at the advantages of vStitcher color blending modes. You can use the color blending modes feature with all the materials that are in the file's resources, from fabrics through to artworks and 3D trims. The color blending modes are displayed in the context view under the diffuse map. There are three modes available, overlay, multiply, and recolor. The overlay and multiply options work the same as they would do in other photo editing software applications. The default mode in vStitcher is the overlay. Let's add three separate artworks to see the color blending modes in action. We'll change the color of all the artworks to green. We can see that only the top gray part has changed to the new color. This is because when using overlay mode with objects that are medium gray texture maps, they are fully blended with the new color. To see the effect of the new color on the other two artworks, we should use different blending modes according to the diffuse map color. For the white artwork, we'll use the multiply mode. When using the multiply mode, white parts blend with the new color, black parts are unaffected, and the gray shades become darker. To get an accurate recoloring with multiple blending, the diffuse maps should be as bright as possible, almost white. For the black artwork, we'll use the recolor mode. This mode was created especially for vStitcher. The recolor algorithm ensures consistent color throughout all the materials assigned with the same color, regardless of the original color of their diffuse map. With recolor blending modes, you don't need to adjust the diffuse textures, like needed in other modes, exact medium gray for overlay, or very bright for multiply. As mentioned before, the blending modes affect all kinds of materials. Let's assign a group of seams with black, white, and gray diffuse maps, and change their color to green. As before, the gray seam will use the overlay mode. For the white seam, the multiply mode. And for the black, the recolor mode. Let's add a mesh fabric to the garment. And change its color to the same color of the single jersey fabric. Although both fabrics are in overlay mode with gray color diffuse map, the result color is a bit different. This is because the gray color isn't exactly the same. This can be caused by different scanning processes or devices. To ensure the colors match, we'll use the recolor blending mode. As you can see, both fabrics are now the same color. The recolor mode changes all the materials to the same color, regardless of what the source color was. We suggest avoiding the recolor mode when using oversaturated colors, Usually RGB levels are higher than 250. As you can see, saturated colors will eliminate the diffuse information and we will not get the same colors required results to different materials. For the next steps, let's add an all over print to the pants. And change the blending mode to recolor. As mentioned before, the recolor mode is an algorithm feature that takes the advantage of the brightness and colors in the diffuse map. The all over print contains different colors. The recolor mode will create multiple tones of the same color based on the brightness of the source colors. When editing the diffuse image, for example, let's crop the all over print image. We can see that when eliminating colors, the recolor outcome changes according to the updated colors and brightness of the image. To learn more about color blending modes in vStitcher, visit help.browser.com. 